this one right here has got the goods. Look at this layer of limestone, conifer tree lying down. Nice agate in the middle, opal. Let's flip it over, see what it looks like. Awesome on the other side too. That was super cool. That's one of the better finds we ever found here. It's a glorious day. We are back out rock hounding. We are at one of our favorite locations today, Ross Creek Beach. And it's a foggy day, but no wind. Temperature's just right. We're gonna be looking for one of our favorite rocks of all time, the limb casts of the cycad and conifer trees you can find here. We'll also be looking for some agates, but today we're gonna be mainly focusing on the, the limb casts. So we will uh, update you as we, as we go along. Just chasing Nolan with me today. I'm Jason, we are Rock Hounding Life. Thanks for coming along. Last time we were here, we went to the left. We went probably two miles down the beach. And that's where we got those geodes. And there was some, there's also some conifer and cycad beds down that way. Today we're gonna focus in this area and to the left. Uh, there's another couple of crops of the cycads over here. So we're gonna stay in this area today. Nice, still nice calm day. Found a little sea maggot here first couple minutes on the beach not bad first full round of the day well oh and that's in there good I'm gonna have to use a little bit of ingenuity to get that one out of there stand by my ingenuity just involved me lifting this rock that's a nice piece nice tiny little agate there nice tiny little agate right there some nice red color. It's a full round. It's like head. Cool. Here's our first conifer find. This is a full round one. Looks like it's been flattened. See the jasper interior, limestone skin. Not bad, starting out. Here's a really big intact piece. You can see the, this is a cycad limb cast. So you can see the skin on the, on the surface on the limestone. And then there's the, there's the center where the limb cast, where the silica replaced everything that rotted out. So this one, this one looks like a nice one. Nice big one. So here's a giant cycad. And it's a full round, it looks like. And here's the core, the agate center. And it's been, it's been tossed around by the ocean. It's got barnacles on it. Ugh. Be a lot of cleanup involved in that one. So here's one of those areas where there's two fabulous looking finds here. Here's the first one. It's a jasper agate. Some yellows, reds, you can see some chalcedony, some banding. This is gonna be a beautiful tumbler. And then not that far from that one, could be a find of the day candidate. Look at this. I thought it was a jellyfish first when I saw it. But that is the core of a uh, cycad, I believe, but that is beautiful looking. Look at the banding there, all the way around. 
Some betroidals. That's beautiful. That's one of those pieces you would just leave as is, probably. That's a beauty. Here's some interesting granite with a vein of quartz and epidote. Pretty neat. Here's a pretty neat example of a different type of basalt. So you can see the basalt is here, it's gray. Here's a more brown basalt. This one's much older and not really native to this area. This one's washed in here from another location. But it's pretty fractured up. Some zeolite in there. Nolan's found quite an interesting piece here. Look at all that drusiness. Look at that. Got some red and yellows in there. Turn that around. Around this way. There, look at that. That's a nice one. Mm -hmm. Keeper. I found this. It's a cycad, but it's f like fully encased in limestone. I feel like this was meant to be cut open. So I'm going to do that. We're going to take that home and cut it open. It's got some like agate jaspery features poking through, so that might be a good one. No one found this nice chalcedony piece. So we broke for lunch here, and we just took a little break by this gigantic stump this this is a huge piece of limestone with multiple conifers in it so these conifer trees got really thick so you can see see how round they are here and these were deposited i think the forest fell down so they lay on top of each other so you can see another one here that's kind of going in this way and this one's kind of going this way so it also could have been a root system, but you can see, you know, these agates that form in the center of them. That's what's, those are the really sought after pieces. There's some druzy in there. There's some druzy in there. But it's really cool. That's a really good example. This one has some potential here. Oh wow. Oh yeah. That's amethyst. That's amethyst. And it's a druzy. Look at that face. Cool. A lot of times too, you'll get, just get pieces of it, but the colors are so good. You know, it just looks like a piece of Jasper and it's just really stunning. I mean, it is Jasper, but this comes from the limb casts. I mean, these are limb casts, but you know, they're only partials, but their color is so nice on them. This one's got a, you know, really bright reds with some burgundy. And then I got another one here that's kind of a different shade. You got some indigo color that goes into some black, which is manganese impurity. And then you have some red. I mean, these are probably ones we'll keep. We'll cut them up and put them in the tumbler. They're really nice. Or we'll slab them. Face has been getting a little frustrated because he hasn't been able to find a full round one, but he just found one that's really unique. So see how this is dome shaped here. This, so the cycad plant in the Jurassic grew to about eight feet tall. So, and you would have them, the top of them would look like this. So this would have been the top of the cycad plant. 
where it's domed and capped off there. So that's really cool flying. So we found a couple of full ones here and they're pretty good. This one's got some nice agate details in it. So this is a full round. This one's a conifer, I believe. So we got two different types of flora species here to show you. So there's some more of the agate there. So this is a nice full round conifer. You can see it's got a smoother skin and it's similar to that big one I showed earlier. And then here we have a cycad. You can tell because it's got a bumpy cycad skin and you see these how these round you got this round outer skin impression kind of looks like finger fingers jetting out that's a cycad that's a cycad limb cast there and this is a nice full one and that's a beauty so i just finished eating my lunch and this supports my theory that if you just sit down and look around you, you find quality stuff and you find it in good quantities as well. Just sitting here, I was looking around me and I've collected three pieces here that are really fabulous. They're all partials. They're all partial cycads, limb casts. But this one here, it's got some nice agate, nice color. See some indigo, some, but the indigo color is essentially opal. And the red is jasper. And then we have some petroidal features here. Where you have some pockets and then you have another big one here. That's one find. Here's another one, another partial cycad limb cast. You got some drusiness going on. Sparkly action. And some agate. And this one could be a candidate for find of the day. This has a big quartz, coarse quartz center with some agate banding around it. And if you follow it to the other side, it opens up into some drusiness. Look at this. Some nice pointy crystals in there. That is a beauty. I'm loving that. That's an as is piece. Found the tiniest of limb casts. Look at that though. You get these nice patterns, these agate patterns in there. Yeah. That's really cool. We've cut some of those before. They're like silver dollars almost, like little sand dollars, but they're side we'll call them cycad dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this right here has the potential to be fine of the day. Oh yeah. Look at that. That's a full round cycad. And look at the pocket of silica. Banding around the outside, big old quartz pocket in the middle. See some agate in there. 
That could be find of the day. Guess what this is? What is it? The butt. It, it's a butt? Shape of a butt. Shape of a butt? Yep. And you think that's the find of the day? Yes. <laughs> Full round cycad. Nice color. Good agate. Some interesting clear calcedony there. I'm not sure if we'll keep that. Here's a nice full round conifer. Some good agate in it. Here's another one. This one's really thin, but it's got some druzy, druzy pocket. Both sides. bite which is pretty cool it's a nice piece the still bite hunter strikes again <laughs> here's another full full round conifer no agate going on but some nice colorful jasper so this is where the basalt from the late Triassic meets with the limestone which is the Scotts Bay Formation, which is the early Jurassic. So it's it's almost a transition boundary between the Jurassic and the Triassic. This basalt kind of transitioned the boundary a little bit because this basalt was part of the camp eruption. These side cads come from, from this, they're coming from this formation here and they're coming down on the beach and you can see a lot of them are, are down here on the beach. Lots of big ones. Lots of big pieces of the limestone broke off and you'll have all kinds of side cads in there. They'll tumble down the beach and then the harder jaspery stuff will remain. The softer limestone gets tumbled away. But some, it looks like that doesn't look natural. It looks like someone's been digging up here. But I can show you. Here's a big, here's a big piece right here. With a nice pocket, crystal pocket in the center. So that's a tree here. There's another one there. And there's more here. There's one here. And then there's a layer of them here. So this is where they come out. And they'll accumulate here on the beach. Tide will come in, pick them up, take them all the way down. Take them down that way. We're going to take a little look here. See if there's anything interesting. I'm sure this is been picked over it looks like someone's been here digging away at the bank because there's lots of rocks yeah it looks like someone pulled all this down and they're broken so we will take a look here's a nice there's some cavity that looks like it has zeolite in it see these cavities they anyway, really cool cool stuff what do you got there uh, oh man you found agate. a nice nice agate and it goes all the way. Cool. True. Here's a piece of limestone that has a seam in it and it's all still bite. Look at this. Beautiful still bite crystals here. Beautiful still bite. Let me see if I can pull this over. Get it up in the sun. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Little cluster there. Still bite. Big old cluster here. So there are zeolites in these as well. Pretty cool. This is a full cycad tree. Look how beautiful this is. This came out of the bank here. And this is just gorgeous. Look at the size of this thing. That's about 10 inches around. And that is beautiful. Look at the, you can see the jasper poking through. It's all encased in limestone. Wow, that's a beauty. I hope no one else comes and destroys that. All right, so we found two pieces that are both, one of them's fine of the day. These are big cycads. This one here is absolutely spectacular. Look at the agate in this and look how deep in there it goes 
it's all betroidal on the inside with beautifully thin banded agate on the outside. It's the top of a side cad. So you see how it's capped at the top? So the top, it would have been, boom, that's the top of the side cad there. And it has this betroidal agate pocket which terminates somewhere around here, three quarters of the way up. But that's beautiful. And then we have this other smaller side cad which has some beautiful agate in it as well. You can see some hints of zeolite in there. You see some sprays. But that's an also, also a very nice cycad. There's a really good example of, here's the core of a cycad right here. You can see some betroidal and you see some zeolite that filled the pocket. So actually, that shows that the zeolite came second. The zeolite filled in the void after the agate was deposited. That's cool. Neato. It looks like it's the core of a cycad. This would have been like the core, but it's all agate. Everywhere it's agate. That's a crazy find. That probably would have been find of the day if we hadn't found the big, that big cycad. So many awesome finds today. It's a good day. All right, so we're almost back to the car. We hauled these big bohemoths back and Nolan and I did most of the heavy lifting. It was a great day, awesome day. So we're gonna do a little summary slideshow here at the end. And these are three big cycads for the day. All awesome features. This is the one with the, the agate with the betroidal hollowed center. That's fine of the day for sure. I mean that big tall cycad, three that, foot cycad. That was that, that was an been, awesome find too. Yeah. That's a nice one too with the limestone bed underneath it. Got some nice agate there. So we'll do a little slideshow as always. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that like button. That really helps with the algorithm. Leave us a comment. Let us know which one of these you like the best. Any other finds in the video you like the best? Let us know. How was the day, guys? Good. Good. Yeah? It was probably our best day at Ross's Creek. Yeah, it was a great day at Ross Creek. I think that find right there yeah. could be our best ever sidecat find at Ross Creek. Yeah. All right. Till next time, have a great week. We'll catch you in the next one.